Hello friends, this is Shrikant and today we will be solving this problem of Sherlock of pair, Sherlock and pairs of hacker rank. So Sherlock is given an array of n integers and Watson asks how many different pair of indices i and j exist such that i is not equal to j but a of i is equal to a of j. Okay. Uh, the number of test cases is from 1 to 10 uh, and number of elements in the array is 1 to 10 to the power 5 and uh, each element is in the range of 1 to 10 to the power 6 ok uh, so let's uh, see this uh, sample example in which uh, a number of elements are 3 uh, there are 2 ones and 1 2 so the number of pair of indices such that a of i is equal to a of j is 0 1 is 1 and 1 0 is another one so there are two such uh, pairs such that a of i is equal to a of j let's take one more sample test case uh, suppose this is the these are the elements in the array and uh, these are the respective indices we see that one occurs twice in this array okay and uh, two occurs thrice three occurs twice and ten occurs once so all possible uh, duplicate numbers, uh, so all possible indices such that a of i is equal to a of j, okay, are 0, 0 and 6, okay, where 1 is equal to 1 and the corresponding 6 and 0, okay, and uh, 2's are, there are two, 3 2's, so index 1, 2, 1, 3 and 2, 3 and the corresponding uh, uh, reverse of those numbers that is 2 1 3 1 and 3 2 and uh, 3 is repeated twice which is 4 5 and 5 4 all of these is basically the permutation of the possible indices where the a, a of i is equal to a of g so uh, so 2 p 2 is equal to 2 and uh, 3 uh, 3 numbers taken 2 at a time is equal to 6 permutation of 3 numbers and uh, two numbers uh, permutation taken to at time is two so the total will be equal to sum equal to sum 10 so 10 will be the answer for this one since 10 is not uh, this item is not repeated it is not counted okay so let's start uh, coding this so first of all we have to input the number of test cases okay I will declare the two variables in i and n and while there are test cases remaining uh, we will get the number of elements in n and then we will get the input array step n plus plus uh, c in a of i we have to declare a vector dynamically here of size n ok then we will uh, we will have to count all the possible pairs such that a of i is equal to a of j right so let us create a function for that pairs and pass this array as an argument and this in turn should give me the total number of possible pairs followed by a new, new line for each test case ok now long, long, get since uh, the permutations uh, npr can cross the integer value we have to uh, here make a long long ok the sum as long long and we will pass this vector as input we will pass this as a reference parameter now uh, we will create a, a long long variable sum is equal to 0 and we will pass the total number of uh, possible uh, pairs in this sum value and first of all uh, to solve this problem we will first sort this array ok uh, so that it is it gets easier to count the number of duplicate elements so for example we 
with this after sorting it will uh, be like this this will be the sorted array okay so one is repeated twice okay two is repeated three times three is repeated twice and ten is repeated once the ten is not repeated at all okay so after sorting the array will be like this so we'll use the sort subroutine which is there in uh, the library function algorithm dot f algorithms after sorting we have to count the duplicate elements and for uh, so one is occurring uh, twice so we have to count this and then we have to find the permutation of uh, all pos all the duplicate elements so we have to get 2p2 for ones and 3p2 for twos and 2p2 for threes in this example so what we will do is we will run a for loop from one to n ok uh, we will start like this we will start from index one ok and then we will check if a of i is equal to equal to a of i minus 1 if it is equal to a of i minus 1 then it means it is a duplicate element ok so we will increment the counter for that so for that and the counter will start from uh, 1 because uh, an element will occur at least once if it is there in the array right so while i is less than n and uh, a of i is equal to equal to a of i minus 1 ok then we have to increment this count since we have found a duplicate element and we will simultaneously in, uh, uh, increment the running index also fine uh, after that we have got the count of uh, these repeated elements ok so uh, this loop uh, while loop will break as soon as we get a number uh, at index i such that a of i is not equal to a of i minus 1 ok after that it will uh, uh, get the will what we will do is we will uh, find the number of permutations of this count which is equal to c into c minus 1 ok this will be c p 2 fine and then this will move now it will move to the next iteration ok after this and will count the number of 2 starting from this element ok which is at index 3 and it will do so on for uh, all the elements in the array ok now we have to return this sum fine That's it. Uh, we will try to run the sample test case. Let's see if it passes. Uh, there is one error. Uh, the it should be get pairs. Okay. Uh, here it should be a dot size sorry we are not passing the n value so we'll better keep it as a dot size fine so this test case has passed let's submit the code so in summary we have to make sure uh, that all the test cases pass successfully uh, here we might have to convert this into a long long otherwise integer multiplied by integer will get another integer only ok uh, it is taking some time 
uh, there is this small error in which two integers when multiplied together will get an integer only it will after that it will do the conversion to long long we have to convert before to this before only to one at least one number to long long so that the total uh, output is in long 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 so what we'll do is we'll convert this into long long and then submit okay now we'll submit the code for since for the larger test cases they it, it may get out of bounds of the integer value fine uh, so this time it seems all the test cases will pass Yeah, all the test cases have passed. We have been able to solve this problem. Hope you like watching this video. If you like the video, uh, share it with others and uh, do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such videos. Thank you.